Released in 1989, Flesh Eating Mothers is a silly horror comedy that has super low budget and it shows. The story sees local stud Roddy sleeping his way through the lonely mothers of a small neighborhood. Anyone but his real father. I don't want my son Rinaldi ending up like him in a state penitentiary. But every time I look at the boy, that's exactly who I see, his father. You worry too much for the boy, Rita. I think Booty's right. I mean, look at my Joyce. She's never met her father and she's doing just fine. But it's different for a boy. Worry more about yourself. Now tell me, how's your sex life? <laughs> <laughs> well, there is someone in my life. Who is it? Aren't you the kiss and tell type? Come on, Rita. Tell us who it is. I mean, it's nothing serious. He is a married man. Oh, all the more intriguing. Okay, it's Roddy Douglas. But don't let this get around. Oh, my goodness. Well, well. <laughs> well, he certainly gets around. What do you mean by that? Joyce is a good friend of his daughter, and one day after we both dropped him off at school, well... Did you shuffle this deck? Yes. Well, shuffle it again. Roddy has a venereal disease, though, something he spreads to all his conquests, turning him into flesh-hungry monsters. Nothing to worry about, Mr. Douglas. Dr. Bass, that is reassuring. Not that I thought anything was wrong, but... It doesn't hurt to check. I know what you mean. I have myself examined at least twice a week. No kidding. You must uh, keep yourself pretty active. <laughs> I, uh, I don't feel girls. <laughs> <laughs> Say, um, do they have any friends? Sure. <laughs> Go right over to this address. Third door on the left, ask for Lucinda. You tell a big Dominic sent you. Nice clean girl. Dr. Bass! Ugh. Good day, sir. Dr. Bass? Um, the man who just left, Mr. Uh, Douglas? Yes, what about him? Well, I was just examining his smear test, and, well, I saw something that, that I've never seen before. What is it? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but it looked like some kind of strange virus. Miss Codd, is what you saw syphilis or gonorrhea? No, it isn't, but doctor... And don't bother me. You know we don't treat anything else. Yes, Doctor. It's up to the kids to save the day, all while trying not to become victims themselves. I mean, I say kids, but these are teens being played by actors in their late 20s, early 30s. It's just one of the many head-shaking moments in a movie that could have been fun, but is weighed down by poor effects, rubbish plot, and bad acting. Is that you? Who the hell is that? Nathan, is that you? Hey, Rinaldi, man, what happened to your head? My mother's on the rag again. Norm. What is going on around here, man? I don't blame her, really. It's all society's fault. It's not just your mother. When Linda came home from school today, she said she saw her mother eating her baby brother. And just now... Look, I'm on my way to meet her. I'll explain to you on the way. Jeff was with a giant water rat. You're pretty cute yourself. Look, Linda, I had to bring him along. Listen, I believe what you told me before about your mother. Jeff, what happened? My mother's... She ate my father. That's not all. Mrs. Viverito tried to make a meal out of Rinaldi. That's veal, chump. Anyway, that's what I think she was trying to do, but I'm not going back to find out. I'm running away tonight. I'm building a shed down by the railroad. You two can come along. I suppose I could make some room. What's that? Looks like Timmy Nolan. Timmy, over here. Yo, Timmy, over here. My mother? She just ate my brother. Yeah, my mother's too. My mother ate your mother's? 
No, my mother ate my father. She's never done anything like this before. My mother ate my baby brother. Yeah, and we're fed up with it, too. We're running away. Do you want to join us? Look, man, nobody's running away. Something strange is happening here. We just can't run out on it. What are we supposed to do, Nathan? Sit around here and get our asses chewed out by our mothers? The film takes a while to really get going, held together by basic plot threads. It's hardly clear just what is going on at first, but once the mothers start getting hungry, things get a little more interesting. It's admirable that the film has no qualms with killing off actual kids, but the effects are so bad, it's hardly a positive. Being a low-budget 80s horror, it is something that could be given a bit of a pass if it wasn't for the fact that there are many other low-budget horrors around this time that are far better. What really isn't easy to overlook, though, is the acting. This is a rough one. Not a single member performance, but only the cheesy, often awful dialogue entertaining. Oh, dear. What is it? I don't remember if I... I felt the iron before I left the house. Oh, I hate when that happens. Don't you hate that? Yes, I hate when that happens. I can't stand when that happens. Well, what are you going to do? Eating Mothers is a very disappointing film. With an interesting title and a description that suggests silly horror, it should have been so much better. Inevitably, it's not though, committing the ultimate sin of being fairly boring and bland. 